we decided to look at ibuprofen uh, because we thought uh, it had some properties uh, in the way cells divide that may make the cells to live longer. And then we, it, we tried it on yeast, and yeast live longer, and we tried on uh, worms and flies, and these organisms, they also live longer. From what we can uh, assume, they, 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 they were healthy, so it seems like the normal aging process was just delayed, uh, but so they gained some extra time of healthy life. The specific drugs that target to the individual diseases might be also shed lights on how you know how we age to understand the aging mechanisms. So, as I said, that uh, this ibuprofen, this drug, like people have been taking for years and years, but nobody actually know like they have some benefit benefit in uh, longevity and health span. Uh, as I said, we have some preliminary data in worms. But we didn't show in this paper <coughs> that these drugs also uh, extend health span in worms. Yeah, make them like not just longer but also healthy. So let's say you can ma ma measure the threshing of the worms. So if they're healthy, then they tend have a tendency to thresh a lot. Yeah, and then also um, you can measure the pumping rate that they swallow the stuff. Yeah, if they're healthy, then the pumping is faster. Yeah. So we, for a variety of reasons, we 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 um, thought that uh, the, we we think now we suspect that the reason that they they live longer is that ibuprofen makes the cells to take up less tryptophan. Tryptophan is a building block of all proteins and of in all cells, and presumably having less of that makes you live longer. But we don't we're not sure why. It's still a lot of research to understand what causes aging. We still don't have a good feel for the molecular events that drive the aging process. So he approached me with this idea uh, a few years ago now to start to see how his cell cycle analysis uh, corresponded with our aging studies and uh, he had identified drugs that had some really unique properties and so we wanted to know if they might affect aging in yeast and, and so we did those studies in our lab and he came out and did a sabbatical too so it was it was a great collaboration and we're beginning to find not just ibuprofen but we have another drug and we're going to have more drugs that affect aging through this collaboration so we're really excited about it.